There are hundreds of possible reasons why you might want to recreate the position where a certain photo was taken off. Maybe you are blind mapping and you forgot where it was, but you have to put the projector just where the camera was. When you start your blind mapping, go here to find some more information about blind mapping. And there are also many reasons why possibly you don't have this position because, um, well, maybe you just sent somebody to take the picture and uh, didn't tell him to make a note where the picture is taken from or you just um, took some images from the internet which happens sometimes and the main reason might be this Ooh, nice thought so take notes when you're doing shots <laughs> Maybe I didn't have to come up all the way to the roof of the Stadtbibliothek in Stuttgart, but I have a point. When we were planning this projection, um, that building wasn't there. So maybe in your attempt to do a blind mapping, well, snatching some photos and then running off uh, to your studio in some other place, maybe you forgot to check if there's a lot of construction going on around you. On a side note, talking about construction, this is the most expensive place to live in Stuttgart right now. Um, remember that video by Casey Neistat about the skyscraper penthouse looking over Central Park? Well, this is not so much cheaper, but it's definitely not the Central Park you're looking at. Well, they'll find out. Fortunately, we took the photo from here. Uh, how I know? Well, let me explain. I'm using two free apps that you can download from the internet. I'll link them below and uh, give them a try. I think this is the best way to find out where you were when you took a photo and you just don't remember. This is certainly not relevant for the technology to uh, find the point where the photo was taken from, but I just want to remind you that sometimes you plan to have a projector placed somewhere because the angle is great and you can reach everything. And uh, then they're building a house right on top of this spot. So um, always keep in mind, projects sometimes take a little longer and um, reality catches up with you quite often. So let's hope the loser that you sent out to take this image had his GPS on when he took this image. Well, let's see. Let's choose information. That's uh, Command I and, well, we can see what camera he used to take this image, but he didn't. Let me show you what it looks like when somebody left the GPS on on his camera while taking the image. Here we are. Here's the information, the EXIF data and the GPS. And when you open it, for example, in preview, there is the option to show it on your maps. So on the maps, which is here. That looks good. Let's go to satellite to see the buildings. It's a little strange. So this image, they claim has been taken here. How did he look around the corner here then? I mean, obviously, This is not the angle that photo was taken from. Let's use a more precise method. Let's use fspy. Link in the description. While we are on fspy, just drop the image here and um, you will soon find out that this was one of the worst images to do what we're doing here, but let's give it a try. So we have the z-axis going up and down and the x-axis on the width. Arrange those along the obvious borders you have and hold down shift to see the magnified crosshair. If this image is a little too dark then it's because it's dimmed. You can undim it here. Find our crosshairs here. I will speed up this process a little for you. And to find the origin, well where this pivot has to go, 
Uh, let's use a third vanishing point. Which one, you ask? Well, the epsilon axis you can see up here because we can see parts of the building. In this case, the railing that is leading to the other side. Let's now take the pivot point to the entrance because the entrance is what I can find most easily. It's around here. And um, let's find a reference distance on the x-axis. Uh, maybe the width of the building? So hold down shift and oh, there's people sitting in front of the house. But never mind, we can kind of estimate this. So how wide is the building? Let's head over to Google Earth and use the rulers to measure the width of the building. This is um, roughly 44 meters from one side to the other. Let's just insert 44 meters here. And now we have some distances over here that we can use in Google Earth to measure our origin of this photograph. So let's go right here to the middle of the building and measure from here in the epsilon direction which is 54 meters, 54 and a half meters, well somewhere around here so obviously here and now 10 meters in the x direction so from here 10 meters horizontally 10 and a half, 10.7, that's around here. Let's check, let's just jump here with a little guy and turn on 3D buildings, a little rough, but still, here we are. Well, let's turn around, go here, zoom in a little because the camera obviously was at a different angle and uh, here we are, roughly. There's also the trees, let's check. Well. It's not too bad, some kind of estimation here. So um, yeah, kind of the right angle. So maybe this is the right point. Still not the right point to put a projector because there are trees and those will be in the way as we can see here. Well, mm, we have to lift up the projector, obviously. But it's not a bad angle to project onto this building. So whoever took this photo was at the right spot. And obviously, if we turn around, we can see that right here, there is a power outlet where we can connect our projector. That's actually the reason why we took the image here. Uh, so never mind. If you're interested in more of these tutorials, just subscribe to this channel and I'll be seeing you next time.